Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. So in our first installment of what's in that, let's talk about the automatic transfer switch. Here we have an automatic transfer switch. Okay, what we have here is basically a mall cop. This allows two forms of electricity in, but only one form out. Why are we talking about this? Well, if your rig uh, comes with an onboard generator from the manufacturer, chances are you have what's called an automatic transfer switch. The automatic transfer switch allows both the shore power to come in and the generator to come in, but only one of those to go to your breaker panel box. Why do we need this? So let me set the situation for you. You're in your RV park and you're on shore power. So you're sitting there, you're plugged into shore power, everything is fine. But what do we know about RV parks? Typically we're on the outside, outskirts of a city or something like that, and we're the first ones to lose power. And typically when that power goes out, you walk over there, if you have an onboard generator, you start your generator, okay? You don't walk outside, you don't flip off the power or anything else, you just simply turn on your onboard generator. That is where the automatic transfer switch comes in. The generator will actually run and will keep running until you go over and turn it off. This is the cop that stops the power coming in from the shore power until you turn off that generator. Once you turn off that generator, the automatic transfer switch will switch from generator back over to shore power. Typically, it happens so fast you'll barely even see the lights blink. This is what makes it great because if it's raining outside or if it's in the middle of the dark or something like that and you really don't want to go outside to turn off the power and then turn it back on later, if you have an automatic transfer switch, you can start the generator, let it run until everyone else has power, then you go over there and turn it off, the automatic transfer switch will switch it over back to shore power as soon as you turn off your generator. Let's talk about some instances where the automatic transfer switch goes out. Because this is the first thing in your rig that's electric, should there be a power surge, it typically takes out your automatic transfer switch. And typically what happens is, is one of the contacts will stay closed, frozen, and will not open back up. The other one will stay open. So the situation may be that you can actually run on your generator and you get power to your rig, but as soon as you turn the generator off and you're plugged into shore power, there's no power going through because that contact is frozen. If that happens, you got to replace your automatic transfer switch. Hardly ever, hardly ever will both of them ever close down. That's not the way it's designed. If they do break, one is closed, one is open. So you never have to fear about crossing streams. And that's what's in that. If you want to be able to fix the majority of the problems on your ring, or let's say you want to open up a business, become a certified inspector or a certified RV technician, head over to our website at nrvta.com, click on programs and get started today. Limp, I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> Um, in your rig that actually takes a power hit. Let me say this again. And that's what we got. That's one to send that, yo. Let's talk about some instances where the... Hmm. Well, why do we need to talk about this? If your rig is equipped with an automatic generator, not, here's the situation for you. You're sitting in an RV park, you're actually on shore power, everything is good and dandy. Son of a automatic transfer switch, two in, one out. Hey, let's start a new series called, What the Hell is That? <laughs> what are we calling this one again? Let's go ahead and talk about a couple things that we have here. And well, I don't know, a couple things. We're gonna talk about one thing. Oh, th how did he fit in this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here, you wanna do something else? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. All right, so let's go ahead. And <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and start off with our first application in what is in that? What is in that? <laughs> so in our first installment of what's in that, let's talk about the automatic transfer switch. Here, here, here. Here we go. 